Hi, this is Sergio Zavallos from New York Steakhouse at Caesars Windsor today with uh, Windsor Eats bringing you basil pesto. Uh, a simple yet flavorful uh, sauce that requires very few ingredients to make. I'm giving it my own twist here. Uh, basil pesto traditionally has uh, pine nuts as the nuts of choice, but um, in my case I have uh, a lot of uh, cashews as well as uh, hazelnuts. Uh, so I'm using them instead and that's perfectly fine. So I have a third of a cup of uh, a mix of cashews and hazelnuts. I have a third of a cup of grated Parmesan cheese, third of a cup of uh, a good quality extra virgin olive oil, two cloves of garlic finely chopped, and two packed cups of basil leaves. If you do not have a lot of basil leaves in the house and you only can afford about a cup, you can also blend them with a cup of uh, baby spinach leaves or a cup of uh, uh, arugula works just as well. First thing you're going to do like we have here is place your two cups of uh, leaves in your uh, food processor. Uh, a small food processor works just fine. Uh, and we are going to crush them slightly with the nuts. So throw your nuts in there. We're going to process and just give it a, fine, a, a rough chop. Want to crush the nuts slightly and uh, also uh, break the leaves apart a bit. Uh, so once you get to this point, uh, add your garlic, add your parmesan cheese as well. And most food processors have uh, a little cavity for you to add your liquids. Uh, even the small ones or the basic ones like this have a little hole here for you to add your uh, your olive oil. So. Uh, while you have the machine on, you're going to slowly, sorry my machine is a little loud there, slowly drizzle in your olive oil. By doing this, you're going to help emulsify and create a creamy texture with your pesto. If you need to stop halfway through the process, it's perfectly fine. Let that remainder olive oil drizzle in. Open your lid. And with the help of a spatula, we can just push the basil mix from the walls closer to the blade so they can finish blending. At this point as well we can season with salt and pepper. This I'm going to leave to your taste. I usually add about a half a teaspoon of each. Remember there is some salt on your parmesan cheese so be careful with over seasoning. Put that lid back on and continue with the remainder oil. Taps there to let the remainder oil go down. And the final product should be something creamy, not super thick, and nice bright green. To store, you can grab a mason jar like this, properly sterilized with a seal tight lid, and transfer your pesto to it. Just be careful with the blades, they're very sharp. Scrape off everything from the blades. and transfer to a jar. Take a spoonful of this mixed with some balsamic uh, vinegar and olive oil for a nice salad dressing. You can also mix it with some mayonnaise for a beautiful aioli to put on a focaccia sandwich for example. Or in a cream sauce, have a spoonful to finish. Uh, we did that yesterday with my wife and uh, had a delicious gnocchi with some fresh vegetables in it. 
So to prevent it from rusting in the fridge, uh, as it becomes in contact with oxygen, oxygen, it tends to brown a bit. Have a little bit of olive oil on top right before you close it. And it keeps for a few days. Lid on it and store. And there you have it, basil pesto. Enjoy.